Hi, this is Rod Faulkner, and you are listening to the SeventhMatrix.com Eye on Sci Fi Podcast. Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode 194 of the SeventhMatrix.com Eye on Sci Fi Podcast. The podcast where we share with you terrific indie, science fiction, and fantasy online short films, web series, and other closely related media. We also, on occasion, have conversations with the talented and fascinating independent creators who are producing outstanding indie speculative work. Thank you for joining me. In this episode, I'm going to share with you a sci-fi short film that is by an independent filmmaker that we featured a couple of times before. This filmmaker is one of our favorites, and the filmmaker's name is Anthony Ferraro. Anthony has had several other sci-fi short films and web series that he's written and produced and directed, featured here on the podcast and over at theseventhmatrix.com, and in a moment I'm going to tell you why. But In his latest project, the sci-fi short film Wakener, it is a gripping space opera that has a tinge of cosmic horror in the mix. Wakener opens in the distant future. Orbiting the Earth is a vast space station that stands sentinel over the planet. When a derelict ship enters Earth's orbit, the space station is alerted and brings the ship in. Space Station Command orders a world-weary technician and an idealistic soldier to go into the ship and investigate it. There, they find out that the ship is powered by a nuclear core, technology that has been outlawed for several centuries. But also on board the ship, the technician and the soldier also find that the ship's controls have been modified in a very irregular way. When the soldier continues her exploration of the ship, down in its bowels, she discovers a mind-blowing secret that will alter the destiny of not only the station, but the planet Earth itself. If you love Cthulhu and cosmic horror as well as space operas, then Wakener is a fascinating and dynamic mix of the two genres, and I wish that we had more of it. Anthony Ferraro is the writer and director of Wakener, and as I mentioned earlier, he is one of our favorite independent filmmakers. Anthony is an expert in producing micro and low-budget sci-fi films that look as though they had a budget significantly larger. His films also feature highly realized universes that are densely populated, and he is adept at throwing we the viewers right into the middle of the story. The same is true of Wakener. We've also featured his other short film, Erringer, and his sci-fi web series, Zenith Run and Galactic Galaxy, on SeventhMatrix.com and here on Ion Sci-Fi Podcast, because they also feature his creativity and also his expertise in creating productions that look as though hundreds of thousands of dollars were spent. Of course, a link to where you can watch Wakener will be included in the show notes of this episode. And I'm also going to include links to Anthony's other projects as well. And we also had an opportunity to interview Anthony on Ion Sci-Fi Podcasts. And so I'm also going to include a link to that interview because he is a fascinating person, and I think that you will enjoy him and also his background. In order to access these links, they will be in the show notes, or you can visit theseventhmatrix.com where you will be taken to the podcast page of this episode. While you're visiting The Seventh Matrix, I also encourage you to check out all of the other terrific indie science fiction and fantasy short films and web series that we've curated there. I also ask you to visit our support section because without the kind and generous support of listeners like you, we would not be able to do the work that we do here on Ion Sci-Fi and over at the 7 and we appreciate that. 
make sure to leave us a review and rating wherever you get your podcasts, because that does help others find us. And we appreciate that a great deal, too. Okay, that's it for this episode, everyone. Again, thank you for listening. And remember, take a break, escape the mundane, and enter the fantastic. Take care.